So I want to see if I can clarify a little bit better the difference between permutations and combinations. And what I want to do is use um, a sort of description that you'll run into where you'll see people talking about picking and choosing. And that comes from the notation that we use to identify permutations versus com combinations. The formula that we use to find permutations that we've been using for the last few lessons here um, is taking the number of items that you're choosing from and finding the factorial of that number and putting it in the top of a fraction. And then in the bottom of a fraction, you take the number of items and subtract the number of things that you're choosing and then take the factorial of that number. And then when you do the division, you get the number of possible permutations of you know, items that you're picking from. The difference between permutations and combinations is that once we've found all the different possibilities, any time we're using the same items and just mixing up the order, if you're talking about combinations or choosing, then any time you're using the same items in a different order, it only counts as one thing, not multiple things. So as an example, let's do a, a, let's use a situation where we have four items and we're picking three. So if we're talking about the permutation, then we would say we have a 4p3 situation. So we'd have four items, and we do four factorial on top, and we divide that by four items minus three items, since we're choosing three, and take the factorial of that and put it on the bottom. So 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And we divide that by 4 minus 3, that's 1. Factorial is 1. So we'd have 12, 24 different possibilities. So there's 24 different ways to find, to take four things and choose any three of them. So for instance, maybe we'd have, um, we're talking about just numbers. Let's say we have the things we have are the numbers 1 through 4. So our items would be the numbers one, two, three, and four. So some of our possibilities might be, you know, one, two, three, or two, three, four, or two, three, one. Any combination of three numbers that are chosen between one, two, three, and four. Now, if we were going to take that same situation and calculate the combinations possible, then we'd write this out as a four C three instead of a four P three. And our calculation would be the same, except on the bottom, we'd also include the number of choices factorial again. And let me show you why we do that. So we'd have 4 factorial over 4 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. So that would give us, again, on top, 24. And on the bottom, we'd have 1 factorial, or 1, times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. So 24 divided by 6 is 4. So there's really only four possible combinations available, even though there's 24 possible permutations available. And that's because every time we pick one group of numbers here, say 1, 2, 3, with our permutations, 1, 2, 3 could be written as 1, 2, 3, or 3, 2, 1, or 3, 1, 2, or 1, 3, 2, or 2, 3, 1, or 2, 1, 3. There's a lot of combinations, a lot of uh, possible options here. But that same three numbers, 1, 2, and 3, if we're talking about combinations, that's just one combination. We're using the numbers 1, 2, and 3. Out of those three numbers, there's only one combination of numbers, 1, 2, and 3. No matter how we write them, it's the same combination. So for every single combination, in this example, we had six permutations. So what we had to do was take the total number of permutations, which was our 24, and divide it by the total number of uh, permutations possible per, uh, per set, or per group of numbers that we picked up. So in this case, since there were six possible options for each group of three numbers, we took our number of permutations and divided it by six to find our number of combinations. And the shortcut for that is just to multiply the denominator of the fraction by the number of choices factorial. So it's really very similar to permutations. It just has one more step. Once we get our answer, we divide it by the factorial of the number of choices that we have. 